Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is General back with another video, and I noticed that the what's in McCollum's <laughs> the background it looks really weird with the lighting effect. This is because I'm on a really old computer, and I want to show you how to make it faster. Because I noticed that on my Sony Vegas tutorials, a lot of you are complaining that the video is lagging, and that is to be expected. It is a heavy process on your computer to edit videos. Uh, I dropped my computer that I usually use, and I had a lot of data on there, so I'm not going to be uploading any videos anytime soon. It's going to be back at the end of October, so that sucks. But I will be uploading videos like this if they are needed. And I'm like I already said, I'm going to show you how to make it a lot faster. So, let's get started. The first things first is make sure you download CC Cleaner. Uh, this is very useful. And GFraggle also. This will be in the description below, so no worries. It's, it's free, so you can download it, no problemo. Uh, so just double click on CC Cleaner, and this will open up. And CC Cleaner will also give the specs of your computer on the top left, right over here. You can see all the specs. Uh, so i3 processor, that uh, 2.53 gigahertz, 4 gigabyte RAM. Uh, the standard today is 8 gigabytes. 8 gigabytes are awesome. 4 gigabytes, meh. As an Intel HD graphics card, this is integrated, so that means that I cannot change it. 64-bit operating system. That's all right. It's home premium. So let's get started. Um, if you have a 32-bit, it doesn't matter. Um, this will also work for all computers, except for Macs. I'm not sure about Macs. Uh, I'm 100% sure about Vista and stuff like that. Uh, so just download CC Cleaner, and first thing first, CC Cleaner. Click the first CC Cleaner, Cleaner, the Cleaner thingy right over here, and just run the Cleaner, and yeah, it will permanently delete files. These files are going to be useless to you, and it will delete the files in the recycling bin also. So just just in case if you deleted something accidentally, make sure you take it out. So let's go start. Clean it. Clean the computer. See, look, this computer even has uh, Internet Explorer. No one uses that. 85. I when I started this up, I removed about two gigabytes of information that was useless to me. Uh, so yeah, and registry. Uh, this is very important that you keep this clean and efficient and remove all problems. And this will fix all the problems. So scan for issues. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to find something. It might find one or two things. And it found nothing. Uh, but if it did find something, you would click fix selected issues and you would save it. Uh, you would save the something. Don't remember exactly. Uh, and that will fix all the issues. Next things up is go to tools and delete all the stuff that you do not need. I do not need Bandicam because I'm using Hypercam. So let's go. Yeah, uninstall. So bam, it's um, uninstalled efficiently. Um, so just delete anything that you don't need because you don't need um, you don't need stuff that you're not going to use, right? It's kind of like cleaning out your locker and you're not 100% sure what you need and what you don't need. But most of the time you're correct and you don't need it. So yeah, that's it. Uh, next thing you need is defraggle. This will keep your hard drive clean. Defragging, what it basically does is that it organizes your hard drive to make it more efficient for working and accessing files easier. Uh, so yes, I'm not going to do it right now because um, it takes a long time. Uh, quick defrag. Let's just do a quick defrag. Hopefully nothing lags. Uh, right now it's defragging. I recommend you that you do not do anything when this is defragging because um, it messes stuff up. So it's doing that now. And as you can see, everything is being <sighs> defragged, and it's just organizing stuff. So while this is doing that, I'm just going to minimize and do my own thing. Uh, just in case you don't want CC Cleaner, you just want to the specs for your computer, uh, click on the Start button, and right-click on Computer, and go down to Properties. And this will tell you all the stuff you need to know. I'm not going to scroll further down, because that has my serial number for the computer and everything. As you can see, it's a Toshiba Satellite C655. It has a... Windows Experience Index of 4.5. That is not very good. So if we click on it, we can see it right over here. And you can also test your computer too. Uh, just go to Control Panels and go to Performance Information and Tools. Uh, is this done yet? Can I stop it? I'm going to stop it. There you go. Uh, I stopped a defrag. Remember, it does take a while. So if you're not going to be using your computer, like playing Xbox or PS3 or something, just do that before you leave. And it will clean up your computer. Uh, so exit out of that. And right over here, if you're about to open up Sony Vegas, or if you're about to play a game, uh, go to Adjust Visuals. And I'm sorry I'm going so fast. I don't have that much time. Uh, adjust for Performance. Um, adjust for Best Performance. Click that. I'm warning you right now, this will look really bad, but I'm going to do it right now. So just click OK. And it will make your computer look like it's from the 90s. Uh, yes, there you go. 
uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'm sorry I went so fast, but this these changes will really help you go a lot faster and definitely help with the lag issues. Uh, one more thing is if you have internet security, I have Norton and it's expired, so this proves to you how old this computer is. Uh, my computer has risk and run live update 100 days ago. Hmm, weird. This computer's been off for a while. Hmm, I don't know. Um, Make sure you shut it off. Most uh, internet security systems have an option if you right click on them to um, like shut them off temporarily or go into game mode. Uh, and if you have the money, I definitely recommend downloading TuneUp utility, uh, Utilities. That's really awesome. Uh, that's pretty much all for this tutorial. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and definitely helped you guys out. Uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all. Uh, thank you for watching. And remember, you could always adjust this back to normal settings, all this grayness. Uh, well, once you're done editing or playing a game uh, like Minecraft. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to subscribe. And hopefully I come up with some video ideas because um, I was working on a video, but I dropped my computer. So thank you for watching. Bye.